What's going on everybody? Troy here from Troy's Hobbies. Got two products for you. Three items. Two different packages. I bought them both at Linens and Things yesterday because I was in a hurry. I needed more pots and pans without buying so many extra lids. I got a small 1980 home. But this is a two pack. This is a 9.5 inch and an 11 inch fry pan set. The uh, Blue Diamond. Heard about it. Never tried it, it's brand new. The reason I want to open it is because I got some chicken I want to cook up right now. And so it looked really nice. I'm not the biggest fan of blue. I think this comes in red, but it wasn't available on Amazon. And I didn't see it at linens and things. But, but anyways, I guess this was on TV, as seen on TV. But uh, yeah, I really needed the uh, 9.5 inch pan. And then this one is the uh, the Invitations tempered glass lid. If you have an 8, 9, 10, 11, or 12 inch pan without a lid, this should work for you. It does have a glass center so you can see what's going on inside. But let's, let me go ahead and shut up and let's open this up because I got to get to cooking. Use low to medium heat. Never let oil smoke or burn. Always use a little oil or butter. So I've read some of the Amazon reports, some of these people, because it says, uh, you know, nonstick that they don't use any oils and stuff, and then they complain on Amazon. But right here, if you read the instructions, number one, use low to medium heat. Never let your oil smoke or burn. So number two, always use a little oil or butter suited for frying for best results. Don't use, avoid low smoke point oil or aerosol sprays as they cannot withstand high heat. Good to know, easy cleaning. This is dishwasher safe, so we're good to go. Wash with a soft sponge in hot soapy water. Do not season the pan. So it tells you right there, because <clears throat> I, I did read some of the Amazon reviews and some people were complaining, well, it's not truly nonstick. But right there in the instructions, it states, use some kind of oil in the the chicken I'm grilling up today, <clears throat> I put a little oil in it during the uh, marinating process just as a uh, a uh, binding agent. But here's the uh, nine and a half inch pan. Looks nice, no damage. <clears throat> Excuse my coughing. I have coughing asthma and right now I'm about to have a, <clears throat> I've been having issues today, plus allergies. Looks good, I'm trying to get this in focus. There you go, that's what it looks like. Looking good, looking good. Blue Diamond Enhanced Ceramic Nonstick. Nice big rivets. I like that. I got a T fowl, and T fowl is you know known as a cheap uh, pan, but they got some of the best nonstick in the world. Even uh, one of the TV shows I watch, uh, they did a comparison test between a three hundred dollar pan and the T fowl that was like twenty dollars. The T fowl one. So that's the nine and a half. Nothing much else to say about that. <coughs> Here's the uh, 12 inch or 11 inch. This is the 11 inch. Got the diamond logo. No damage. I'm gonna go ahead and give these a good soapy wash before I use them. I gotta use them right after this video. I'm gonna use it. Nice big rivets. I see no issues. All right. A universal stainless steel lid. This will cut back on uh, stuff in my cabinet. I got, like I said, I don't have a lot of cabinet space. It's an older home. And if I had the money, I would just rip everything out and start all over, expand the kitchen, to be honest. Hand wash, hand dry. Stays right there. <clears throat> Limited lifetime warranty in multiple languages. I've never used one of these, but I saw it, and it intrigued me. There you go. Stainless steel with a glass center so you can see what's going on and for the bigger and for the bigger pots uh, You know for like a, if you're uh, boiling spaghetti or something You have some holes here That is great You do have some indent indentations right here one two three four five six one two three four five six That looks like what they use to keep the uh, glass in place That yeah, looks nice. Okay. This is a uh, Nine, nine and a half. That should work. Yep. 
So a nine and a half. It fits. Let's see. There you go. It's in between. And so <clears throat> if I move it a little to the right, it cover the hole is covered up for the drainage for the uh, you know if you use it for a pasta or something. But then if I move it a little to the left, the holes now. So if you want to vent your food, steam, it's showing and it's still covered. All right, that works. <clears throat> so this is the 11-inch uh, pan. No issues. It's covered. All righty, folks. We're in my little old kitchen. Per the instructions, I added a little bit of, uh, this is olive oil, just to get it going. And I do like to take a little basting brush and just to make sure that it's fully coated so I don't leave any dry spots. This is the first time using it. And what I'm going to throw in here is onions. This is a large, extra large onion. Looks like it'll fit about a half. I don't want to crowd it. On uh, This uh, stove is really powerful. So I have it on low, so I'll mess with that as we uh, go along here. Boneless chicken thighs uh, with applewood and a little bit of oil already in here that I used as a uh, binding agent. So we're going to go ahead and put this right on the, uh, on the new pan. This is one, like I said, make sure you use... Uh, a little bit of oil. I, I did read the instructions correctly. We're probably going to do two. I'm not going to be able to fit all of this. So we'll go ahead and set that aside. Let this cook. Fits perfectly. You can see what's going on inside. Uh, you can see steam coming out. The, the double vent columns here. Uh, this is hot. Do not touch this without some kind of mittens. So, I'm going to put that to this side. And I am using some tongs with rubber ends so I don't mar anything, purposely uh, scratch anything. Take this off. This is working good. The uh, chicken is not sticking. Oh, I let it on there. I left it on there a little too long. Go ahead and turn down the fire. In fact, we're going to go ahead and take it away from the fire. We'll turn it off. Yeah, but as you can see, it didn't stick. Look at the little pieces. Oh, this is a good test right here. Not like I uh, purposely burnt the chicken or trying to burn the chicken. A damp cloth. Let's do this over the sink so I don't make a mess. This is nice and hot still. Let's see uh, what happens. Look at that. I kind of saw, Luckily I caught it. I didn't burn my chicken. But look at that. Come on now. That came right off. That's why they say they recommend using a little bit of oil. So I'm glad I caught that. Got rid of the, uh, the dark spots. That would have gave the uh, chicken a little burnt taste. Let's go ahead and put it back on the stove because it is part of the test. Yeah, I'm like I'm liking this cover. The last of the onions is on. Got that going with a remember a little bit of oil. People are not using oils and then they're complaining. Follow the instruction. We are pretty much done. I still got one batch. I'm gonna go ahead and put that there in the center. This is the last bit of the chicken, and I think I'm going to move to a smaller uh, fire burner on the back side. This is a medium one, but it's still too powerful as you can tell. So we're going to go ahead and get the back side going. Turn the front one off. Go ahead and cover that up. As you can see, it's done. No sticking. Look at that. This one I don't have to wipe down over the sink. Look at that. Go ahead and turn the fire off on the burner. 
ready to go. That's ready to go for our breakfast. We'll leave it there. Well, we are done, folks. The first batch, a little well done. Getting used to the, the metal on the pan. It cooks hotter, that's for sure. One thing also, do not uh, grab that handle. I already learned that. This pan lid, universal lid, is awesome. I'm glad I bought that. Yeah, everything is done. Nothing is sticking. So this looks much better than the uh, first batch. It's liquid is coming out clear. So I was getting used to the uh, the heat, how it uh, transfers through the pan, much different than my other pans. But look at this, none of this is sticking. Let's go ahead and flip this camera around. It's nice and hot. I usually let it cool down a little more, but for the video, right off the uh, stove. Look at that. So, and it says right in the instructions, use a little oil and try and stay away from the aerosol. Uh, one thing I noticed, doesn't matter what brand you use, if you use aerosol, it leaves little uh, pot marks of uh, whatever the stuff is in that aerosol, and that builds up over time. And that's when you get that rough surface. So yes, try and stay away from aerosol. But look at that. That's ready to go for tomorrow for breakfast. Everything looks good. Today's agenda, breakfast. Try it out, see, see if anything sticks. Uh, right now I got the uh, big pan with some uh, canola oil, two tablespoons in there because I'm uh, cooking up some uh, hash browns and that requires uh, some good frying oil, canola oil. And then I'll be using some olive oil, sauteing olive oil for the smaller pan for my eggs and sausages. It makes one big old pancake, I guess you could call it. <laughs> But one thing I did was, if you noticed, I made sure that even though this is states it's non-stick, follow the instructions. It states right in the instructions, beginning of the video, low to medium heat and use some kind of oil or butter, a little bit of oil or butter. And so, like I said, I've been reading reviews online and people are complaining, oh, this is not non-stick. You know, read the instructions, folks, read the instructions. Most of my other pans have rubber grips, so I'm used to grabbing it. Well, yesterday, I didn't show it in the video. That's what happened. I don't know if you could see that. Got a nice little red burn mark there. Because I had this sticking out over the uh, oven, and I actually touched it. So, yes, that does get hot. So, that was just a warning. So, we got this pan going. I went ahead and transferred it to the higher heat. There, there is a lot of surface area here, so I switched it to the larger burner. But this one, we're going to go ahead and cook up some uh, some pork sausage. I think this is from Costco, if I remember. Alrighty, the sausages are done. And set those aside and let's see how easy it is to wipe out this pan. Purposes of this test, let's see how easy it is to wipe out. This is a damp cloth. <clears throat> there you go. I actually just cleaned it too well. Now I have to add a little bit of oil for the eggs. Uh, no problem. Look at that. No scratches. Olive oil, just a little bit. This is going again, just warming it up because breakfast is almost done. Eggs don't take that long. Everything is coated. I like to do two eggs at a time. We don't like, we like it sunny side, but we want the top to be cooked. So we'll go ahead and cover it up. One thing I don't recommend is cleaning it with this because the little bristles, there's a small gap right here between the glass and the metal. You can get a piece of plastic stuck in there. So make sure you use something without bristles. 
Yeah, it's sliding around. Give it a little nudge. I'm gonna go ahead and serve my son. And still have some oil there. This breakfast is ready to go. There you go. Gabriel, your food's done. Close it back up. We are done. Breakfast. There's the pan. Look at that. This minor wipe. A little bit of wiping down. We're good to go. And of course, turn the oven off. Not much there to... Still, while it's nice and hot. Look at that. That's it, folks. If you like this video, please give it a like. Check out the rest of my channel. If you find it interesting, I'd appreciate your sub. Don't forget to hit that bell notification. And if I have any Amazon links, they are commission. So I will get a little kickback to help my channel out. And I do appreciate it. It allows me to buy more stuff to review. You folks have a good day. Bye-bye. Stay safe. Well, I thought the video was over, but I just wanted to show you really quick uh, some spaghetti for dinner. So I got some uh, turkey, I, turkey I uh, browned up, added some tomato sauce, just letting that simmer. Uh, this is a ten, exactly a 10-inch uh, outside diameter. Works perfectly. No issues there. This is a 9 and 3 quarters measured from uh, outside to outside. And the only issue with this is the handle as you can see so it doesn't fit perfect so that's something to take into account if you have a pot with high handles like that just wanted to share it in this video but I really wanted to use it for this because of the uh, splatter from the tomato sauce that is it folks have a good day